Oh, I did not check my volumes. That should be off. That needs to be off. Let's see. Danny, what up? Sorry, just getting everything posted and then I'll start all of this. I don't know how volume sounds. Ryan Vonch, what up, what up? We get a tour of all your keyboard builds so far. So one day, yes, right now I can't do that because half, more than half of my uh, keyboards are at work right now because I'm working on a video for the studio, which I know I've mentioned a million times. Hi, Tim, shouldn't you be working? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. You should still be at the office. Um, so I'll eventually do a bunch of keyboards, but you can ask Tim right now, my desk, and like three other rooms I have just littered with different keyboards and desk mats and things I've set up for shooting. Um, so I've made the office a total mess because of all of this. Um, before we get into this, I also just got something pretty cool from Space Cables. This is a sick 
cable. I already forgot what this connector is. Limo. He answers me again. Took your advice to watch hours of Hippiotech. I've watched so much of him over the last... Like, I've only been watching him for, like, two or three months. And I feel like I've watched everything in his catalog for at least the last year. Um, I think this is called a Limo connector. This is a new camera, too. I'm testing out here. But this is essentially, like, the same connector we use on our RED cameras. And Space Cables made it into a sick... USB-C keyboard cable. So I will be using this soon. I'm gonna leave this white one on the Seafoam Bauer light because it just looks really nice, but hippie, hippie, hippie. I'm really excited to build this. Um, it looks super unique and I, I peaked already. I've opened both of these a little bit, um, but I'm very excited. Well, I've been listening to Waveform for so long, and I was so excited to hear that someone from the, is truly deep into diving into keys. I truly starting, truly starting. It's easy. Surely, what's up? Hippio's content is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, starting, but diving a little hard head first. I, my problem, my hobby is hobbies, and I get too deep into them. Um, all right, before I start this, how does sound, does sound sound good? Um, just checking mic sound. I have a little music playing in the background. It doesn't really matter if y'all hear it or not, um, but it's nice on my end to have something playing. Okay, I know which one I'm gonna order first. Er, I have two. For those of you who don't know this, this is like a silicone keyboard and super adorable. And I'm really interested to see how it sounds and I know it's gonna look sick, but I'm interested to see how it sounds because it's like, uh, it's soft essentially the base, but this fairy bread color looks so cool. So I'm, I'm doing this one first. I already have some keycaps chosen for it for so long for you to be, and for you to be the only one to pronounce my name correctly, ain't no way. The problem is, is I all, I pronounced it correctly and now I'm not even sure if, if I can do it again. Vonch, Vonch. I feel like I feel like with names, if you, it's easier to just mispronounce it the way that seems normal, than to try and like go out of your way to pronounce it correctly and then still get it wrong. Then you just kind of fail. Mike is great. Thank you. Um, never been into keyboards before since you mentioned on the pod. I really wanted to build one. Uh, the the video I have coming out has a couple really good options at super cheap. Honestly, this is pretty cheap. I think it's like. 120 bucks for the kit um but oh man i hope i'm not oh nine uh there's a couple different 88 uh but i think that's not without body and plate only for the with if you get it with the pcb it's 130 um yeah all right i want to open this up at what price do you see diminishing returns in the keyboard space? Uh, I don't know if I know enough about that yet. I mean, you can get some really good sounding out of the box boards for like under 200 bucks, but you can also really hit the some awesome stuff around like three to 400. And then past that, you're looking at like the premium, premium, good, good. Uh, yeah, that Neo 65, I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard a million things about it. Um, what are some things you should get in? Building the first one. Just do a ton of research. There's so much good information out there. Um, figure out what layout you want, what kind of switches you might want, what sounds good. But um, I want to get to building this really bad because I'm kind of tired and I'm doing all of this hoping that the kiddo stays asleep. Uh, but but let's take a look at this real quick because this is so sick. Been loving these, thank you. Have I built a forty percent yet? No, and I want to really badly. It seems like the majority of them are like uh, ortho linear, so I'd probably build it, suck at typing on it, think it looks really cool, and then never touch it again. My lighting's a little. Let me tone down my lighting a tad. Look at this. How cool. 
cool is this? Look at this. this is... Isn't that wild? Which keycaps switches stabs will you be building with? Okay, so I have... This is... Good question. Let's pull... The... This one I have set. The other milk tea version, I have a couple different options for keycaps that we can look at. But um, I have... So I've, uh, I had a bunch of stabilizers I wanted to try coming in, um, but they didn't get here on time. So I just have two Duroc V2s, pretty standard. Um, for switches, I have the Gateron Hippo linears, um, which I liked a lot. I was trying them like totally stock, but I, there was a lot of spring ping in them. So I did just like a bag uh, lube and like a really, really light lubing on it. And I think they sound really good. So they're gonna do that. These are all lubed and ready to go. And then for keycaps, this box looks like it would not fit this at all. But these are the Novel Key Ember PVT keycaps and they were on sale for like 15 bucks in their New Year's sale. So I hopped on them because I think these are gonna look sweet on this board. I know Ember like would you'd think fire and everything obviously it's kind of what they're going for but it's basically just all white with red and i think this is gonna look really sweet and then i have a couple novel or just accent keys from a different couple different kits i think these are from these uh the dual shot these are from dolch two or ah, i'm probably pronouncing that wrong and these are from the moto light um, but I think I might throw these two on because I think that'll look really good. I'm sorry if I missed everything here. Um, do you have any? Put uh, I have one artisan. I forget which one, but I brought it to work because I was using it for a video I'm working on. So I don't have it with me. I have their candle. This thing smells great. And they sent a bunch of stickers of their adorable dog how adorable that is. Um, okay, but yeah, we'll do that in a few. I think that's gonna look really good. That'll look clean with the colored flex. I, I, yeah, I think so. My goal is to try and get a couple different accents that match the flex. I also got a desk mat. I really need to start just actually building this, but everything they do is very cute. Do you have a work email to get in contact with you professionally? I do. Biz business at MKBHD doesn't go to me anymore, but that's probably our best just like public email. I try and keep mine just to me, just so I can keep contact with the people I need to um, and not have it spammed up too much. Keyboard awards at the end of smartphone awards. I don't, I don't consider myself having the proper knowledge to be able to do that yet. We'll see at the end of this year, but... Um, I'll leave it to the professionals. June's one of the most unique releases in the hobby in a while. Really impressed with this colorway. This colorway looks so cool. I mean, when I first saw this, I was like, this looks so sick. Um, I want to try it so bad. Now I'm like nervous that there's 40 people in here that I'm going to screw this build up. Man, this all looks so good. Like that color and then the matching plate their website's fantastic is that a gmk botanical yeah the botanical looks so good on the uh seafoam okay those are not lubed if i get to building the other june this stream i can lube those these are all pre-lubed. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to screw up. I agree, except I'm also like, I don't live stream very often and I'm probably going to like not pay enough attention and mess something up here. So everyone hang tight. If you see me screwing stuff up, just spam chat as hard as possible. 
botanicals i love the botanical set i'm a little sad they didn't have the i usually don't love novelties on a lot of things but the botanical novelties were awesome and i'm pretty bummed they didn't have them We just said I think we just sent a JWST out. Um is that the one the uh sorry Andy, I didn't realize you're from you're from EB, correct? Yeah. The stabs are lubed already. I, I wanted to make sure things were set up because I knew I was probably shorter on time tonight. Um and I wanted to make sure I had these all lubed. I have the switches lubed. That's the wrong. Do you guys like my, this is what I've been storing half my stuff in. I have all my switches in here. Biki's dad. That's what we like to hear. I'm always pro dogs that have major things to do with companies. Obviously, Mac was a big part of the MKBHD scene for a while. Um, love it. Actually, who is it? I think Mode posted a video of like the I forget which which keyboard they were doing a video of, but it had the mirror bottom. And when they were building it, it just showed like the reflection of whoever's dog in their lap. And it was amazing. What are your thoughts on factory loop switches? Um, there are some really good, like good, the, I, there's a set from Kinetic Labs, the uh, like moon linear V2s. And I guess they consider them hand lubed. Um, from them but they're i like them a lot they're really good and um i'm down to spend a little more money to not have to lube it myself um there are definitely some times where i'm lazy and would rather i think everybody no one likes lubing switches sonnet it might have been i forget i've been looking at all of them so much i forget which one is which but i, I think they all look really sick i would love to get my hands on one soon. I had a package coming in with um, the uh, Mirandi, the Wuche Studios Mirandi switches that Hippio talks about all the time and seems to think they're pretty solid um, lubes from the factory. So uh, they, they were supposed to come in today, but it snowed here, so they did not make it. Actually, local to mode, there are a bunch of great people. Where is, uh, do you know where they are? I think the closest people to me is Kinetic Labs. Um, favorite board aside from Bauer? Okay. This is my my like lucky story and kind of um i know i keep talking about this video on the studio channel i'm very excited about it but i'm also doing a million other things so it's taking longer than i expected but kind of talk about how when i first tried to build some keyboards with like group buys and everything it was a pain in the neck and then it's really hard to motivate yourself to wait for group buys when you're lucky enough to work in marquez's studio where someone like Key Colt sends a board in. So like one of the first really nice boards I got to use was a Key Colt 265. And that is like my favorite board still to right now. Um, it's fantastic. Oh, Mass Massachusetts, awesome. My sister lives up there. I'm actually, I'll be up there in uh, next month. I'm officiating their wedding, my sister's wedding. Okay, I think we're all good there.
do this. Oh no, yeah. Okay, I can put that on first. Too early, too early, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Michael. I'm like, I get it, man. I get, I have this, like, I understand how lucky I am in that sense, for sure. What am I screwing up? There we go. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Dude, does. <don't. laughs> No reason to say you know less about cars than we do, because we get fuck tooled on all the time about not knowing anything about cars. Do you know how many times I got tagged in like random videos after Marquez said the uh, the GTR wasn't a track car? I I caught strays on that one, even though I'm in the video saying mm, I think some people might disagree with you. Living on Switch. I'm only living switches, living switches tonight because I've run out of preludes. It's like, I have to say, finally getting the right stuff to like bag lube the springs and then a little like lubing station made it kind of nice. Although like I keep wanting to do it while I'm watching something and then I realize I can never pick my head up. Interesting, okay. So then like it's impossible to actually watch anything. You basically have to just listen. watch uh this is the garmin epics gen 2 big fan of it um it, i know like we don't cover garmin much I, I did a short studio video that had it a little bit um but i believe adam's working on a video he's using the garmin phoenix right now i believe why do i keep messing this up because i'm an idiot and i didn't get all these Switch is actually fully shut. Do I have any low profiles yet? Um, there's a couple at the studio. Not really. Um, like a Keychron low profile and some like Logitech ones. Um, but the Monokey one, uh, systems is that what they're calling it? They just announced that. I need my. plate fork I think I'm really nervous knowing there's heavy people in here and probably watching me absolutely screw this up huge monarchy stands <laughs> so if you want me to like talk more about being lucky at work i uh we did a studio video a little while ago uh that was like a typing test like kind of challenge and i won it and monarchy was nice enough and they reached out and they're like can we send you something for winning the typing thing i was like yeah sure that would be awesome thank you so much and then they sent a uh, jane tgr v2 me and it is a beautiful board it did take me a little while to get it to sound good but i finally have it looking and sounding real good now unfortunately i don't have it with me also i'm realizing these switches aren't going in nicely because i guess when i was looping them i was being lazy and all of them are like partially still open Oh, hello. You're way too nice. Thank you so much. Have you tried HHKB? I have not. I 
I got a free Jane, I know. I did. They didn't send me anything for beating my personal best in monkey type. They gotta, they're just not paying attention, I feel like. They need to be more in tune. I do like the Jane. I had a very hard time. Like, I think since it's uh, top mounted, I was having, and I was still like learning how to lube everything correctly. It sounded like, actually, to be fair, I had it, I put it together with just kind of like extra parts we had at work. And when I mean extra parts, I mean like some pretty bad parts we just had laying around at work. And then when Glarses came over the studio and did that Frisbee video, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's very funny. I was like, hey, I built this. This is the only keyboard I've ever built. How does it sound? And he like typed on, he's like, I've heard worse. And I was like, oh man, that was embarrassing. I wanna learn how to do this better. And then, luckily, paternity leave gives you, like, the first two weeks I had my daughter, I was basically way too nervous to go to sleep when she was sleeping because I was afraid she was going to stop breathing. And building keyboards is a really nice, quiet thing to do right next to her bassinet in the living room while I make sure she's alive. Yeah, so I finally found the O-ring that they sent with it and did O-ring mounted instead, and it sounds way better. Josh, yeah, endgame. The, you know, I had Alex Otos, super nice guy, by the way. Um, he, I got to like interview him a little bit for the studio video, and one of the things he said his advice was when you're getting into everything, don't like enjoy the process. Don't go straight for your end game. Like, oh no, I bent this pin. Crap. I hope I have enough. Don't go straight to end game. Uh, enjoy everything and enjoy learning how to do everything. I thought that was really, really solid advice that I almost felt personally attacked by when he said it because. I have that problem. I'm so sorry. I probably missed a few things in here. Switches look great with this plate and board also. The thing, Glarses is the nicest guy ever though. He like, what was really cool about him is he wanted to do this collab and we'd been talking for a long time, but like the way we work at the studio is very, like we basically don't really make our schedule until Sunday the week of so like trying to schedule a collab with somebody is really hard especially someone from a different country so he was super flexible we thought of some cool ideas he decided to do that keyboard frisbee game and was basically like hey I can come for a few days and if one of those days will work let's do it so he was awesome the, I think the video turned out very funny um and it was a great collab. Him and his crew were super nice. Um, they hung out all day. They, they're they really good at ping pong. Um, but it was super fun. Basically, people just buy and enjoy what you like. There is no keyboard meta. I'm sure people would argue with you, but I, I would agree. I think what's cool is that so much of the hobby is like super subjective on what you think feels good or sounds good. And um, that's awesome. There's so many different choices out there. The, the video I'm making, if I haven't spewed about it enough, is that right now it feels like it is the most accessible it's ever been to get into. With so many in-stock options and cheaper prices and companies doing sales on things like uh, hot swap PCBs are easy that even a dummy like me can do it. Although I did my first solder board the other day and I was very proud of it. 
very proud of it except i put glarses switches in it and now i want to pull them out because they don't sound great unlubed People like that in every hobby. Yeah, agreed. There's people like that in every hobby, and what I've enjoyed about keyboard people so far is if you step outside of like the Reddit, um, it feels like everyone's just genuinely like excited to help other people with things. Um, and not just that, but like the creators seem to just be like super pumped. I mean, okay. It's easy to say creators are pumped that more people are getting into the hobby. Cause that means more people will probably watch them, but it does actually just seem like people are excited about new people and it growing in general. Let's just test this really quick. That did not do what I wanted it to. If you had to pick switches over lubed, over lubed or under lubed? I mean, I'm pretty sure the answer should be, if your question is you have to use them, then I don't know. But if the question is like, you get a pair of switches and they're under lubed or over lubed, I'd probably pick under because it's way easier. Oops. It's way easier to fix that, but that's probably a boring answer, unfortunately. I'm sure there's plenty of people. I don't know if you can hear these noises, but I'm sure there's some people who recognize these noises. Oops. Yep, bent the shit out of you. Bent you. Those are probably salvageable. I just don't feel like. Oh no, how many of these did I mess up? Jeez. Sorry, I'm not looking right now at chat, but I will in five seconds. Caps lock. Backspace. Um, Andrew, how's it going? It's going great. I'm, we're getting to the point where we're putting this thing in, so I'm getting very excited. Um, fully agree, don't put too much talking to anyone making prescriptive statements. Just explore all over. Yeah, I mean, I liked, I mean, the easiest thing is I used tact tactiles for so long, and now I'm realizing that I 
only kind of really like them for playing games, but at work I've been using Lumineers almost exclusively and I love them. It's, um, the New England Keyboard Discord is a wealth of wholesome, lovely people that I'll have to take a look at, even though New England's a little north of me. Would I get a numpad? I had that. Uh, I'm, I have like a, uh, I have the glorious numpad somewhere, but I don't really use it. Um, I feel like the Bluetooth never works. And then I have like a, I have a macro pad from Treasure that I, it's pretty much just, I use it uh, to surrender in Valorant. Oh no. Oh sweet. Oh no. I don't know if anyone caught that. It just said the uh the camera's too hot. Hold on. I'm sorry, hold on. Oh sweet, I'm a square. Um, okay. I'm fixing the camera. Look at me, I'm in four by three. This is like a Brandon Havard video. Oh no, this cut's too high. Too hot. Put it outside. I should just open my window. <laughs> my window is like right here. I should just open the fucking window. That would be hilarious. I'm gonna turn the heat down in here. Maybe that's probably it. Oh man, I can't believe that happened. I I don't get why it's doing that. I used to this is the camera I used to use. I doubt there's anyone who remembers, but there was a little while where I was streaming ping pong games with Marquez at work. Um Yeah. How do I feel about the leave of Gunther from Haas? I'm fine with it because now I can stop rooting for Haas and just watch them lose every race. I'll just my underdog team will be Williams and I'll probably root for McLaren a bunch. Huck a vintage filter on it and it could be an old TV show. Huck a vintage filter. Oh man, I'm realizing in full screen, you can see this mess over here. Yuck. Woof. Four by three aesthetic, nice. Um, I wanna get into keyboards, but I don't. No, there's something about them I don't think I'd like. I'm using an old keyboard from the late 90s for my computer right now. Depending on what keyboard that is, I wonder if it's, it's nicer than you think it is. Um, I guess, what don't you think you like about them? Organized chaos. It is not. This is the most organized thing I have. This is my cool little brochure stand of all the national parks I've been to, their maps. And then these day hike guides of this guy who makes these guides, Hike 734, is the best. And then just some old maps and stuff up here. I think it's pretty cool. Do I ever golf with the team? I disc golf with the team. The real golf. All right. Let's see if I can turn this back on. Hey. All right. Cool down. Don't knock your old board, though. This hobby actually has a whole site just for keyboards. Yeah. I mean, depending on what it is. Okay. We made it. We only bent four pins. And we had six leftover switches for this. But let's screw this in. I don't, know, I don't know if Andy's still in here. Do you recommend, I think I watched Alex build this board and I think he only used two screws. Do you recommend all four or, uh, 
Is there a sweet spot for this, or do you go all all four screws? I wonder if I can find out. Like, this video. If you want to talk about overlube switches, these are overlubes. These are the drop holy pandas, and I. They're not like mushy overlubes, but I definitely messed up the tactileness of them. Only two. Oh, Wilbatech. Man, I don't know how I'm so lucky that, like, use all four to start. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. You got sniped there. Which two? Interior two or exterior two? I don't know if that was weird. Just does smell... It's weird. It's like chemically, but it's like good chemically. PCB daddy. Yeah, boy. These switches look. I'm, my lighting's not great in here, but these switches look so good on this. Interior. Okay, cool. I trust you far more than I trust myself. Hi, Andrew. I'm going to take this down one more notch. Let me know if that lighting looks good. I think my biggest problem on no knowing my own visuals here is that since I'm a turd, I have two gaming monitors and the color calibration is terrible on them. So I don't know if I'm looking at something too dark and it's just bright because I play Valorant we're to the point where my eyes are bleeding, but, uh, okay. All right. I think this keycap set is going to look sick. I'm gonna leave the escape and the enter key because I'm gonna see if these ones look kind of cool on there. Do them all, interior, do them all. I have not tried Vision Pro yet, but Marquez and David, as you saw from the pictures, did today, and we will 100% be talking about it on the podcast this week. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm lucky enough to have Andy and Wilba in here as a someone so new to all of this, but I super appreciate it. This is it's pretty fucking cool. It's not the easiest to get these damn keys out of though. Build a board with the Vision Pro on? I mean, possibly could be the only way to be uncomfortable while building a keyboard. Just cranking your neck down the entire, entire time. Pretty sure every report today was basically like, man, this thing's still really cool, but holy does my neck hurt. I kind of dig that. What do you think? I feel like this blue kind of matches some of the like blue sprinkles. Do we use the red and white escape key or do we do the blue one for like a little accent? Ellis and Adam aren't here to bleep you. Have you heard me kind of stopping? I don't know why I am, but 
I don't know, sometimes I feel bad cursing. Which escape key? I mean, all white is going to look really clean, but I kind of think these two match some of the sprinkles. They probably look a bunch brighter just because the light's a little intense. I like the Sona. I think it's pretty solid. What up? Jace? Jace's? Jace? I was skeptical. Did you get it on clearance? Get what on clearance? The Ember? Yeah, I got the Ember keys on clearance for like, I think it was $15. It was really hard to pass up. I also got another set that we might, okay. Blue, 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 sweet. Which also, I'm seeing how much of a delay there is here, but that's better quality then. Um, for the milk tea board, I have a couple different sets. I kind of want to do, I have GMK Olive. And I kind of think the dark green on the like light brown will look really cool. But I also got the uh, Novel Keys PBT Sand on clearance for $15 as well. Um, I mean, I got all of that on the Novel Keys sale. I did the like buy two, get one GMK sets and then the uh, two PBT sets for like 15 each. It was a stupid deal, I feel like. This, this looks so good. Am I into EDC? Um, I think a lot of stuff is like cool. Like I like watching EDC stuff, but at the end of the day, the stuff I carry around is like my car keys and my wallet. I don't even know what kind of wallet I have right now. Um, and my phone. So I don't carry a lot of stuff. My brother-in-law did get me this knife from Switzerland when he went out on his honeymoon. I dig it a lot. Actually, I also have this knife, which I think Matt is in here, the other guy who runs this channel with me. This was, you can tell I've opened a lot of boxes with it. This was uh, his groomsman gift. I'm a jerk though and I don't remember what it is what company this is cute combo thank you thank you i'm getting distracted uh i'm not going to unpack actually i don't think any of us are going to unpack i think we're just watching it because it's on the west coast and that's a lot of travel getting a lot of use yeah matt that's not me typing by the way before matt says something Oh, the Brass Hebe wallet. Nice. What do you think about low profile boards? I get why people like them. I don't think I love them, but I like that there's more coming out that aren't just like super cheap ones. Cause like Mono, I, we mentioned this before, but Monokey's doing one. Oh my goodness. As much as I love this set, getting these keys out of this, it's nice that they don't fly around like all the GMK sets where just keys are everywhere, but they are hard to get out of this. I do not have a case for my phone. I actually just have like a stick on MagSafe thing on the back of it. And this phone is just plastic on the back, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to put this enter on. Why didn't anyone tell me? We're going to put this enter in. Fifty people. I think that's a new... That's a new record on here. That's awesome. I don't... I think this is the most people I've ever streamed to. Big shout out, Hebe. I also really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I think they posted to their Discord, which is really awesome. Um, I appreciate that. Hopefully anyone from there watching this doesn't think I'm a total moron doing this. Oh, what did I? Oh, no. Okay, so I need the small shift and the function here.
So we'll flip on over the desk. Just put them on a second. The problem with flipping it over onto the desk is like I, they're all in order right now, which is really nice. And I don't want to take them all out of order. Watching on the TV, commenting on my phone, pro move. Drop, yeah. I've definitely just tossed keycaps before accidentally, not on purpose. All right. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this, but this ember set, because it's ember, it's supposed to be like fire, comes with some different color space bars, but the colors are very fiery. And I don't think it matches this set at all, right? None of those fit this. I think that blue looks so much better, but the only other thing, mm, I do have, I just want to hebe, 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 hebe. Okay, thank you. It's at the point where I forget what I was saying. So from now on, I will not get that wrong. Hebe. Um, right, none of those, none of those keycaps look like they'd fit. did grab the space bar from the GMK dual shop, but I don't think since these don't match, I don't think it'll good do good. So I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Um what mods do you do to the stabs if any? They're just all uh lubes. I use dielectric grease. Um like the Alex Otos guide tells you to oh shoot is this the right space bar did I just put away the right space bar yes well uh this is green it's probably just looks weird because that blue but this is the bower light in seafoam um with the botanicals the gmk botanical two I think it is I wish you could see how I'm balancing things on my lap off camera right now. Oh, I've got the, okay, I I messed these keys up, hold on. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, did the camera? Mm, this is such a good stream, except for this stupid camera. I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna fucking open the window to try and cool this down. It is, for everyone, I'm going to open the window. It is, Matt, help me out here. I think it's 20 degrees outside Fahrenheit maybe right now. It like snowed, We had, I have like four inches of snow on the ground. And I'm gonna open the window for the stream. So this is a mistake. All right, well, I messed something up on here anyways. 
I put these switches in the wrong spot, so I'll fix those now. You can watch me struggle through my face. And at the rate of the wind coming in right now, this camera should cool down any second. No. Did I have these right? I think I had these ones right. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the mic. The build was too hot. Agreed. Hebe just throwing fire out here. My camera can't even handle it. He's ahead, correct. So you're just watching Stabilizer losing. Yeah. I don't know who is asking. Alex's uh, Stabilizer guide is perfect. It's like five degrees Fahrenheit here. No school is a plus. Where are you? Worth it. I'm so glad I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Were you interested in GMK Mictlin at all? If you saw it, I did see it. I thought it was cool. Yeah, I thought it looked really sick. Um, R5. It's not an R5. It's actually just like a Nikon. I forget. It's like one of their... I don't know. It's something we used to use at work for streaming sometimes. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And it's uh, failing me a little bit. Okay. Um, this is actually just the OG uh, G Pro. I, okay, hold on. Turn this back on because oh man, this thing looks so good. I love this thing already. I love this so much. My window is open. There we go. Hot damn. Cut I mean, come on. Come on. Look at that. These green cups, yo, <laughs> we bought these for my family coming over for Christmas and now I've stolen all of them and this one doesn't have it, but they're, they were holding like my switches and stuff that I lubed the other day. So there's a bunch of them all over my room. Have you seen the Tejom's custom build for Marquez? I need him to talk about it. I have. Little do you know, there's a second one that I actually pulled all the keycaps off of. This is the linear version actually. Um, but yeah, I have seen it. Unfortunately, Marquez doesn't like 60% or 65% keyboards. He's a function rogue. Marquez has a very specific set of things he wants in a keyboard. And unfortunately, a lot of the super intense builds people have done for him, he likes, but he wouldn't use. He weirdly really, really needs in his, he says he needs the Mac control legends on the function keys, which takes like 99% of every keycap set out. What's up, Brian? Thanks for the novel keys info. Just bought Ember, Cherry Blossom, and Hershey set. Nice. Are they are they still on sale? I also bought Sand. We'll check that out in a minute. Um, I'm like literally shivering, but okay, I'm shutting this. Whew. 
Just came here for Teo's video, what the hell? Um, okay. I want to listen to this. I want to turn this music off. I don't, can you guys hear the music at all? Um, whew. Bravo, Hubie. Bravo. I sure it doesn't mean much coming from me. But this is an absolutely sick looking board. It's so unique. I like my my wife's big on baking. She's gonna think this is so cool. Surprisingly, she really likes all the keyboards that I make and comes in and types on them and thinks it's really cool. I kinda think I'm gonna convince her to build one soon. Um I'll take if you won't use it. Trust, trust me, I'm on that already. Don't you worry. That's why it's sitting in my room right now. The other one's at work with the actual brown keys. Um, Sorry, I missed the G Pro comment. I'm big into mice. I have a drawer over here full of a couple of them. Not to flex with the razor too hard, but... Um, this is the Glorious O2 Pro. I really like this. I would suggest trying this if you want to try a different shape. The Pulsar X2, right? Yeah, Pulsar X2. They're like 99 bucks and come in a bunch of really sick designs. I really like it. Also, there's a Demon Slayer version coming out soon. Get the wife on stream. Y'all build a keyboard. She'll never come on stream. But that's fine. Okay, I want to sound test this for you all. I'm going to try and bump the volume up a little bit. Let's also, wait, let's get this six space cables cable in here. Have I heard of the Optimus Zero mouse? I feel like I've heard of it, but I can't think of it. Fiance has a botanical build like yourself in the office, nice. Would it be possible to see your desk set up? Maybe not right now. Uh, maybe at the end. Yeah. What time is it? Ten thirty. Okay. Sorry, you can't see the cable, but this is sick from Space Cables. She should build the other June. Maybe that would be an off-stream thing, but uh, maybe I won't build the other June on stream. But I need help picking the keycaps because I'll post a picture of it. But I really think. The GMK olives would look really great on the uh, the milk tea, June. Um, okay, let's bump this up a little. Testing, testing. Am I? Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm peeking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Roll the sleeves up. All right. Okay, need to work on that. Okay, I definitely need to work on the stabilizers a bit, but hopefully the audio quality is not good enough for you to really hear the rattle there, but that will be fixed. Um, okay, let's type a little bit. I think I'm gonna pull up, I think. Uh, 
Um, I, this up here so you can see it. Lock is on, of course. Oh, wait, you need this. I got too focused. I left my headphones on. I, it sounded good, but I want to do it again without the headphones. Just give me 15 seconds. Um. I'm forgetting there's a pretty solid uh, delay on this, but uh, <laughs> I really like this board. I definitely, I'm like embarrassed that the stabilizers are rattly right now. Um, I will fix that. I probably will not do it on stream because I will probably, I'm really good at getting like, the grease and lube everywhere and making a total mess. So I'd rather not do that all over um, casual 142. Thank you. Um, yeah. Monkey type is the site, but if you all want to go to, sorry, I'll, I'll minimize this. Another site. Uh, not as good as this, but Matt, I mentioned him before, the other guy doing the channel with me is the one who actually created this game. Um, let me uncrop this a bit. Um, the one, if you're from Waveform, you probably know this from any guest episode. Um, he, we're adding new things into here, including different things to type. Um, but let me show, sorry, I'm messing this all up. Filters, crop. There we go. Uh, pick up a silicone work mat for when you're doing stabs on stream. Good call. How are you with the layouts other than QWERTY? I've literally never tried any. Um, so probably terrible. Hello from Guana. Guam, Guam, sorry. Came here from the podcast. Thank you. That's pretty awesome. You still need to... You'd still need to charge a wireless keyboard. What did I miss here? Hi from Australia. Also got a June. Cool. That's awesome. If it were Australia, this... What's the weather like in Australia right now? I don't want to make the assumption that it's warm, but this camera would probably overheat there immediately. Um, okay, but... This website, type the alphabet, Matt made. It's really awesome if you've seen it on Waveform, but there's also some new typing games. We have type the alphabet backwards, 20 digits of pi, QWERTY, which is hilarious because it's just, oh, it is just your whole keyboard. How fast you can type it. Oh, you can't see my time here. Uh, the quick brown fox. I'm really bad at the alphabet. I wish Matt was in here. What does he have? His personal best, 1.38 seconds. Wow, it, I wasn't even typing. I'm terrible at this. 
A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I keep not pressing it. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Ah, that was. This is embarrassing. It would be funny if the pie one just kept going. Warm and wet. <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about. Um, I know what you mean. Uh, New Jersey summers are just like that. I mean, like 85, 90 plus percent humidity. Um, talk with you on the MPBHC Premium Channel. Oh, cool. Wordle type clone daily typing thing very soon almost done. He says these things on here and I don't even know what he said. Two point oh seven six alphabet. That's nuts if you got that. Um, okay, I'm gonna do like just sixty seconds of typing on this so y'all can enjoy because I have the benefit of getting to continue to enjoy this thing afterwards i mean the hebe people also get the benefit of continuing to enjoy them afterwards but hebe the best space cables what up this came in today very excited please don't mind that it is all over the place because i just plugged it in like 10 minutes ago but this thing is sick i can't wait I'm probably going to bring this to work, but mm, no, I don't want anyone at work to steal it. I, if I brought this to work, I can guarantee you Brandon would probably steal this before the end of the week. So it's peeking out now in Melbourne. Yeah. What time? Is it? it is like Wednesday morning over there, right? Desk spaghetti. Right next to all my bent pin switches. Um, okay. Typing test. I'm just going to do a minute of this. Obviously not as good at longer times. Probably got to get lucky sometimes, but uh, yeah. Sounds really good. Sounds really damn good. Honestly, it doesn't even have to sound good. Seriously. I can't believe I bought these keycaps for $15. I can't believe these are 15 bucks. Uh, Obviously, the blue ones are from a different set, but... I think it just adds a little pop with the, uh, I would love to find like, a, I want to, I want to find some sort of key from different sets that matches the sprinkles. So I feel like I need like, I don't need red cause red's on the main, on all the keys, but I probably need like a purple, maybe just a purple. I have some from the, like, I have this, pink from the moto light but i don't like that it's a black legend or like a dark gray legend i do have this red escape key that's from the same set as this but i just think the blue looks so much better purple june here at the office so nice 
I really, really like this. I think it's so cool. Um, would you recommend getting a mechanical keyboard to improve typing speed? You can type crazy fast on anything you're used to. I really think most of typing speed is like what you're used to. I remember when we did our typing test, I was using a key call and I had a million people telling me like, you only type that fast because you're using that crazy keyboard. And then uh, after I read that, I did on my magic keyboard and got an actual better, oh, better speed. Um, but I definitely think a mechanical keyboard, you're gonna get to be exactly what you want. I'm an idiot and unscrewed my mic somehow. And now I'm holding it instead. We're, we are a mess here. What's your favorite profile for typing? Um, eh, Cherry profile is like all I've, I think the only keycaps I've ever bought. Um, hold on, let me put my mic back and I will link these keycaps. I'm pretty sure somebody before said they went out and bought them on the site because they're like 15 bucks right now, but hold on. Um, oh, I don't need this to be on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Back to the damn. I'm not opening my window again. Um, I'm going to paste the keycaps in here. They are still $15. Um, okay. I think this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to just finish looping switches. Nice. That must feel fantastic. That's the best feeling ever. <laughs> I'm just missing a lot of things. Have you seen the Dominic Key High Fox Silent Cafe? I have not. Can you please get Elemento Key on threads? Maybe. I don't even have it on Twitter. I honestly feel like at this point, it's easier for me to just post it on my Twitter. Um, June definitely has an easygoing sound. Um, brr, 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 uh, purple Key, I read all this. This has Dave DD written all over it. The teal definitely does. What's your favorite? Uh, yeah, linked keycaps. Cool, cool, cool. Um, did you get the Cherry Blossom set? I didn't. Don't make me buy more. But I think, oh wait. No, but I did get ones kind of similar to this. Crap. You're right though, this does look, this cherry blossom set, that purple looks nice. Is there, if there's a purple enter key, I probably would do it for this. No, I like this too much. You can't see anything because the keyboard or the, it overheated. So that's a bummer, but um, since the camera's overheating, I'm not gonna fully build the second June, but I'm gonna take it out of the box. We're gonna look at it and you're gonna help me pick keycaps. Yeah, I got them on the New Year's sale. I got, <laughs> I got GMK Olive, GMK Dark Honor and GMK Parcel, which I love Parcel so much. I was going to put it on my mono key standard because it's blue, but I think at this point I just have to buy, is it the, what's the mode 75%? The, I think I have to buy the mode sonnet in blue. I think they have it in blue and put the parcel keycaps on it. The parcel keycaps look so good. So, so, so good. Um, but yeah, I bought the, th I did the buy two, get one GMK sale and then bought two sets of keycaps for uh, 15 bucks, PBT keycaps for 15 bucks. Um, the MKBHD keycap has not happened yet. 
it is going to happen though. And I think I have a prototype here if you want to see one of the colors. Oh my God, I'm holding up to the wrong camera. I don't know if this is going to focus this Razer webcam. There we go. Mm. Um, okay, well, when I get the camera on, I'll show you this again. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to help me pick which keycap set to put on Milk Tea. Um, or if Matt wants to build the Milk Tea, he's also able to. But I will... Uh, I have a couple keycap sets for it I think would look really nice. Let's turn this camera back on. I'm not gonna build the whole thing because I don't have lube stabilizers and this camera is probably gonna die or like overheat like four more times. So I think it's easier if we just, uh, you guys help me pick out uh, which ones I wanna use and then I will do that and I'll post it on the Elemenoki Instagram account. I will totally, 100% do a video on it for, on the YouTube channel and I'll, I'll probably just post on Twitter also because let's go breaking embargoes. I think we've teased these already. You didn't hear it from me. There's other colors too. I thought I had the other colors, but I don't. Um, do I prefer the ABS from GMK or PPT Plastic? I think I, I like the ABS more, but I hate like on my key cult, the like WASD and this left side of the space bar are just so slick and shiny from wearing down. Um, okay. Back to this. I'm just going to take the board out of here. Congrats on fatherhood. Thank you very much. It has been incredible. Um, yeah, she's lane is amazing. She's starting to smile and everything and like react to us a little more, which is like the best feeling in the world. Um, such a good channel name. Thank you very much. I like it. SEO is probably terrible on it, but I think it fits with the type to alphabet website pretty well. And then, um, and I just, yeah, I think who doesn't love a pun? All right. So this is the milk tea color. I think this is also really nice. I personally like this better, but this is going to look really, it's like tiramisu. I think there's a tiramisu keycap set. I think I've been watching a ton and looking at a lot of pictures and videos of the June stuff. And I wanted to try and do something different. And I feel like everybody does brown keycaps on this, either like a light brown or, um, like white with brown accents on the side. Uh, but here, let me show you what I have. How is her name spelled? Um, Lane, we spelled it L-A-I-N-E. Um, silver with silver mirror bottom, minor, mirror accent parcel would look great. Yeah. I, it would look really good. So if we wanted to go kind of that brown route, this is the Novel Keys Sand. You know, I haven't looked through this. I don't know what the accents are like, if there even are accents. I'm dropping keys. Oh. Total mess. These accents are nice. All right, I, damn, that blue looks so good. She, okay. Damn, I can't believe these are 15 bucks. Okay. GMK panels. Can you can someone can you link me that? 
just because if you can't tell my I'm making a mess here and what are your thoughts on the iPhone's click case from Mr. Mobile I mean I I th think nostalgia is always going to get people I don't own an iPhone so I personally can't use it um so th wow this match is like almost exactly If you have the June and milk tea and you wanted to just match match, I mean, look at that. That is. What's up, Vanek? I don't know if there's anyone from Hebe still in here, but GMK Sand, or sorry, not GMK Sand, the Novel Keys PBT Sand is like. It is right there. It is almost exactly. But personally, I think a little different vibe. And maybe this is a stretch. But this is GMK Olive. I feel like it might be a little hard to see the green of that. I don't know how well this camera is going to focus. Yeah, you can see that, right? I think this would look really good. Bye, Kartik. Good seeing you. Yeah, Olive. It probably looks a little more black there. You can definitely tell from this that it's green, and this is like a hint of green. I wonder if I have a black key that I can... Just for uh, reference, this bottom key is black. Can you kind of see the like the like dark? I mean, it's called GMK olive, so it's obviously olive color, but it's it's definitely like a drabby green, with kind of like a tannish vibe for the legends. I think I think this is it. I'm this I think this is what we go for but I can't believe how well that matches like Look at that That's wild how well that matches I'm I'm I think I'm going to build with Olive but I can definitely see myself What's up Daniel um, I can totally see myself one day just ripping all the keycaps off, putting this set on just for shits and giggles and, uh, taking some photos. I need to take some photos at work with all the good setup. Such a good match. Yeah, I think. It's a good problem to have. I literally bought. Th I bought this. These three sets I bought for these two keyboards, like knowing they were coming in, and I've just been holding on to them, waiting for these. So I'm so happy with how that turned out. I think the Olive set is just gonna like gonna look a little different from some of the other Junes I've seen, and who doesn't love trying to be a little different? It's too late, Daniel. You're already here. You're already into them. Um, but yeah. I'm not going to build this on stream tonight because I need to figure out what to do with this camera. Um, so I think I'm going to sign off one more, one more look at this beauty though. So June R2 in fairy bread, very fun Fetty vibes. This is, these are the novel key Ember keycaps and then the accent keys are Oh, I kind of forget. I think it's like the uh, 
GMK Modern Dolch 2. So technically these two are, are ABS and the rest are PBT, but I, I, it looks so good. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if in the hobby that's like a no-no, but have I heard of the Rainy 75? Yeah, I watched Tipio's video on the Rainy 75 and it looks really cool. Okay, but yeah, last look at this. Keep an eye out on the channel and the Instagram for some more photos and some video on this. A better sound typing test. I'll have Ellis help me with audio so it actually sounds good or just use some better mics at work. Um, I will be building this soon. Keep an eye out on the channel for video of that with the GMK Olive set. Huge thanks, um, Hebe, to sending these out. Big thanks, Space Cable sent me this cable and it looks so good. I can't wait to, I think maybe on this board, it doesn't match it quite as well. Like a white might look better on this, but I have some other boards that this, I think this is gonna look awesome on my dual shot two board, Bauer Light. Um, I have not used one with magnetic switches, but I'm gonna end it there. Um, thank you everyone for joining. This was like really sick. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed. And thank you all for hanging out. Um, catch everyone on the podcast this week if you listen or another stream soon, hopefully. I need to get some videos up on the channel. I know it's been like a week. It's just been a very busy week getting back into the swing of things at work after paternity leave. But I appreciate everything. Um, yeah. Catch you all soon. Peace.